Hello, today I'm going to create some massive armies in Blender. Making my own Star Wars trailer, for cheap and easy, because I am lazy. I've got here a Battle Droid 3D model in a basic walk cycle from Mixamo, and yes, I know it is a commander Battle Droid and there wouldn't be armies of these guys walking around, but it was the best 3D model I could find for free, so leave me alone. Now, the animation just stops. To make it loop, we have to select the armature, then change from the timeline to the graph editor, and make the extrapolation mode cyclic. Nice. I gave the droid its blaster by selecting the armature, going into pose mode, clicking on the right hand bone, going back to object mode, then control P to parent the blaster to the bone. Okay, so in order to have a particle system scatter hundreds and thousands of droids around, we need both the blaster and the droid to be one object. So let's use control J to join them. But oh no, now the material for the blaster is messed up, and it also no longer tracks to the droid's hand. This is an easy fix. Let's undo this. Then select the droid and go to the vertex groups tab. Under UV maps I'm going to copy the name, then simply click on the blaster and paste this name under its UV maps. The UVs are now correct and we can join the models together and keep the materials the same. But there is still the issue of the disconnected blaster. To fix this I'll tab into edit mode, select just the blaster and reposition it into the droid's hand. Then with the blaster still selected, scroll up to the vertex groups and find the right hand bone, then assign the blaster to it. The blaster is tracking normally now, but the position is still messed up. Just go back into edit mode and keep readjusting its position and rotation until it looks right. We are almost at the actual fun part, but first we need to create some variation of the droid animation so they don't look all the same. Creating these variations can be as simple as duplicating the droid and changing its keyframe positions on the timeline. Another trick would be to go into pose mode, delete the keyframes on one of the neck bones and change its rotation slightly so it has a different head movement. Alright, now let's turn these guys into an army. I'm going to select all of the armatures and put them in their own collection, then select the droids and put them in their own collection. I'm doing this because when we scatter the droids using a particle system, we only want it to scatter the droids and not the armature. Next, add a plane, make it as big as you want, and add a hair particle system. Tick Advanced so we can access this rotation feature later on. Then under Render, make it render as Collection and pick the droids collection. I'm going to scale them up a bit, but they are facing the wrong way, so let's go back to that rotation tab, enable it, and change the orientation axis to Global Z. Then use the Phase Slider to get the angle you want. So here we have our army, and we can change the number of them under the Emission tab. To animate this army, all you have to do is keyframe the plane to move forward. But I want them to walk on top of a terrain. This is also easy to do. Let's subdivide the plane a bunch to give it lots of geometry to deform. Here is my landscape. All you have to do is go into the Modifiers tab and add a Shrink Wrap modifier, but put it above the particle system. Then select the landscape as a target and project from surface. Now our army moves up and down the terrain correctly. As you can see here, there are some clipping issues when the army plane intersects with the landscape. To get rid of this, simply uncheck Show Emitter under the Render tab and the Viewport display. And there we have it, some big armies. See you next time.